Uh, good afternoon, my new scope has arrived from Optics Warehouse, I ordered two days ago, and this is the Cytron uh, STAC 210x32, it's got a HHR reticle, so it's really designed for hunting, uh, it's got a, a parallax of 100 yards to infinity, so just going to do a quick unboxing review, so it comes with your little Cytron manual and your, your lens cleaner, uh, data on your on ammunition and the actual settings up for that. Obviously it won't be relevant for me because it's uh, air rifle, use on air rifle. Uh, information on the actual reticle itself, okay. Look that. And then the scope itself. Now the scope comes really well packed, rolled up bubble wrap. Now this, right, is, um, it doesn't come with flip ups by the way, so this is a basically a scope cover. It's elasticated, you've got a hook here which goes at the back where your eye optic is. So basically you pull it and lift it off, okay. So that's your cover. Uh, I could probably probably get some, some flip ups at some point. Obviously with a 32mm reticle it's quite small. So just take the scope out of the bag and we'll run you through it. So what you've got here is a really nice finish, 30mm tube. Um, you've got your magnification here, very smooth, yep. Uh, I've got another S-Tac on my Leshy 2 and exactly the same. Precise and very smooth. You've also got a little flip up here, so if you know you're out in the field, you can use that to adjust your fine just, okay? Like so, and that just flips back down again. So you've got gloves on. You've got your obviously your dioptic here for adjusting your reticle to your eye, your own personal eye, and then you've got your windage and elevation. So your elevation now, these aren't locking, okay? So they always turn very precise, yeah, what you'd expect from a quality scope. And then when you set your set your scope up, you can actually lift that up and you can actually set your cap to zero and then pop it back down again. And these are to protect that. So the good thing about that is once you've set your your uh, your scope up at a certain range, you can set to zero and then you can actually you know where you are. Okay. Uh, 32 mil objective, okay, so it's quite a small objective. Um, length is uh, I think it's eleven point seven inches, so it's just under a foot. Weight is uh, just over 16 ounces, so that's, that's about a uh, uh, pound, isn't it? That's a pound, so um, that's about 224, 224, no, four, sorry, 450, 460 grams in it, okay? So, I was thinking old half pound there, okay? So this is, yeah, now uh, about your objective now, your parallax. Now this is a fixed uh, um, parallax, right? So I got in touch with um, Optus Warehouse because obviously I wanted to put this on a right on an air rifle, okay, some 12 foot pound air rifle. So um, I actually sent them a message and then about five minutes later they rang me and uh, I said, right, on the MC Ultralight, you can actually take this ring off and actually use a card, a credit card and adjust the actual uh, parallax on the MC Ultralight. And I was asking, could you do the same with this? And yes, you can actually re uh, adjust it. Now, when I turn this ring anti-clockwise and screw it, um, that actual parallax lens moves as well, so it must be bonded to this ring. So what I found, I had my MTC um, rapier rangefinder out, and I was looking through the scope and working out where it focused. And it focused like as it is out the box at about 70 yards. So the parrot must start from 70 yards upwards, okay? So I found by giving it a one full turn, a 360 degree turn, anti-clockwise, um, that parallax is reduced to about 21 yards. So that should be fine for fitting this on a, an air rifle. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, I'll always be able to fine tune it. But the good thing about it, because this ring appears to be um, attached to the actual lens adjuster itself, you don't need to worry about taking the ring off, putting a card, putting the ring back on, just move the ring, yeah, and it, you know, that's fine. If you're worried about getting moisture in there, uh, you could always put some tape around there really, you know, uh, some um, electrical tape. Or if I get a, a cap, it'll probably cover that anyhow, it'll probably go over the whole lot. So that'll cover that ring, you know, if get a, a flip up cap. So yeah, really nice scope. It's, a, it's a, it basically an upgrade for my Mauser K98 Springer rifle. Because uh, I've got a pistol scope on it, a two times pistol scope, and this is two to ten, so it allow me to shoot further out and uh, more accurately. So, yeah, really nice quality, lovely lenses. The clarity through the lens, through the scope, is fantastic. 
very much like the uh, the S-Tag that I already own, the first record plane I own. Um, I shall try and get some video through it with my uh, Taka cam fitted and see if I can get some video footage of the reticle. Okay, it's non illuminated obviously, but the actual sharpness with your with the eyepiece adjusted to your actual eye, which I've already done, the actual uh, reticle is is very very nice. The clarity is fantastic, pin sharp, um, not super fine. Yeah, it's not a super fine reticle like um, you know some of the MTCs and some of the Hawks. You know, which are really really fine. So because it's a hunting reticle, the reticle actually is a reasonable thickness. Yeah. So um, yeah. It, I, I, I like it, I think it'd be ideal really. So, yeah, good price. Um, obviously, UK retail optics is, was 405, I think, and I think like, 180, 189, I think they're going for. So, yeah, and they've got plenty in stock as well if, you, if you're interested in, in buying one. So, yeah, I hope you like that little video. It's a, like I said, it's a really quality bit of kit. Um, so, looking forward to um, doing a video of this, you know, get a video through it and also doing a shooting video with it fits the Mauser. Okay, so I hope you like that little video. Thanks for watching.